Jess Constantino, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, my beautiful YouTube family. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess Constantino. And today, my parents took Cooper and I to see the Penta. So for those of you that don't know or don't live in America, the Pinta is one of Christopher Columbus's ships that he sailed from Spain to the Americas when he helped find them and, and colonize them. He sailed on the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria. Those are the three ships that he brought over. And so today we went because Columbus Day is coming up and we wanted to go see a little history and have a little fun experience and go see a really cool ship. So we went to see the Pinta, which was on the river. And we, um, we went there and they told us that the ship is a replica. It is not the original, obviously, because the original was in 1492 and is probably destroyed or in a museum, who really knows. But uh, they built a replica of it and this replica actually sells around and does like tours and things like that. So the replica is actually 15 feet shorter and six feet less wide. It's not, a, it's, <laughs> I don't know how to say that sentence correctly. It's 15 feet shorter and six feet sm smaller in width. Um, so it, it was really crazy to me because when we were walking around on the ship, I'll have my editor put in a photo of the Pinta right here. So that was the Pinta that we saw today. That's the replica that is 15 feet shorter and six feet less wide. So we, we were walking around on this ship and it was so crazy. Um, and I'll, I'll have her like put in footage of us walking around also in this, but it, it was just so crazy to think that that ship was actually larger than the original Pinta because you're like walking around thinking like, this is so small. Can you imagine being on the Atlantic Ocean in this tiny, tiny ship? Like I would feel so scared if there was a storm or something, I would feel like I was in danger. <laughs> what I said to my mom when we were on the ship and she was saying, can you imagine that the actual ship was smaller than this? I said to her, I wouldn't want to be sailing on the Atlantic. I mean, if the Titanic couldn't do it and it was huge, I don't think the Pinta could do it and it's teeny tiny. But my mom also pointed out that they were selling a lot farther north because they came from Ireland to New York. So they were a lot farther north than Columbus's ship was. Columbus's ship kind of sailed to the south. It, it sailed from Spain, which is like Southern Europe. Um, it, it sailed from Spain down to, well, it landed in the Bahamas first and then went to like Southern America, uh, where like Cuba is now and Hispaniola. And then it sailed to the Eastern coast of the United States. So what is not the United States uh, then was just known as America. And he actually, Columbus was the one that gave the Indians their names, the Indians. Uh, it was based off of a Spanish word from the Indies uh, that meant the Indies. So that was where the term Indians came from that now we refer to them as Native Americans, but back in the day, they referred to them as Indians. So that is where he got that term from. I, I learned so much history today. I love history. I find it very fascinating and exciting. I love to learn where we came from and the lessons that we learned back then and how they can still apply to us today. I always feel like lessons are things that we should learn from and continue to evolve because we have learned those lessons and that way you don't regress into making mistakes again. But um, also it's just really fascinating to me how we got where we are and how we developed into the nation that we are today and how the world developed into the world that it is today. It's just so exciting to me and interesting. I, I've always loved history. The, the things that I really love learning about are history, languages, and culture. Just because I feel like it makes me a more well-rounded person and I find it fascinating to learn about all these different aspects of life and other people's lives and their 
cultures and their beliefs and their values. It's, it's so interesting to me and uh, it, it was fun to learn. So there is going to be some footage that follows this of, of our tour of Columbus's ship, the Pinta. There is some parts where they are referring to the Nina. Um, you'll see when my mom was reading me signs, there are some of the signs, if anyone can, can see it, there are signs that say the Nina and it's talking about the Nina and some of the things that my mom was reading to me. And the reason for that is I guess because in the tours that they do on this replica ship, they have other replica ships of the Nina and the Santa Maria and these three ships tour together. So when they tour together, they're, all the history is kind of combined. So the plaques and, and things that explain what was going on on the ship, who did what and how things worked. It is all coming from this tour that they do con collectively with the Nina and the Santa Maria and the Pinta. So I just wanted to let you guys know that so you're not like, well, why are we talking about the Nina and not the Pinta? Uh, because we wondered that too. And so we asked one of the ladies that was there who whose family works with the tours. And she was the one that told us that it was because the Nina is with them on the tour. And so all of the history is like a collected history. So um, that's the reason you'll see some of the things that say Nina on it or hear the things that are talking about the Nina. But it's because the three ships that Columbus is sell done are the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria. So those are the ships and that was our experience for today. I hope you enjoy what is coming up in this video and stay tuned because it was really fun and exciting. Cooper and I really enjoyed it and at the end you will get to see Cooper talking about what he really liked about it and yeah I just find that really fascinating. So stay tuned for the whole video. Here is our tour of the Pinta. I hope you guys enjoy it. My family and I boarded the Pinta ship. My mom, dad, and Cooper checked and read the traverse board. We discussed the maps and the speed at which Columbus traveled from Europe to the east coast of the United States. Cooper enjoyed being on the ship, just like the other kids. We also saw the star map hanging on the wood. Cooper felt excited throughout the tour. He opened his mouth wide in amazement. On the sidewall, there was also a biography of Christopher Columbus so that everyone visiting the place could learn about him. Cooper continued to enjoy and look back at the Pinta because for a moment we are leaving the place. It was a beautiful day spent together with my family. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the tour of the Pinta that we took today. And I wanted you guys to get a chance to hear what Cooper's thoughts were. So Coop, what did you think about our, our tour of the ship today? It was cool. What was your favorite part? Oh, like the, the big plank that was yeah. supposed to be the steering wheel? Because back in the olden days, apparently they didn't have steering wheels, which was something I learned today. Very interesting. But it's like they they guided the ship by this, this huge plank of wood that was attached to like another plank of wood that went into the ocean. And then you would either swing it like right or left. And whichever way that it went, that board in the water went, and it directed the ship to go in that direction. Did, did you enjoy learning about the history of Columbus? Yeah. Yeah? What, what do you think about the fact that Columbus sailed from Europe to America and discovered the, the United States? The uh, state that people came Yeah, he did. He found a place that we could colonize and, and make our new home. So that he kind of bridged the gap between the old world and the new world. He was the one that brought us into the new world, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And and what did you think about the foods that they brought over and that we sent over to them? Good. It's <laughs> good? Uh, you like all the foods? No. No, why not? I don't know all of them. What ones don't you like? The avocado. So, tell YouTube. The avocado. Cooper doesn't like avocados. I don't know why, because when he was a baby, he used to gobble up the avocado, but, uh, 
Since he got a little older, he doesn't, he doesn't like <laughs> avocados anymore. So, um, anyways, I just wanted to share that with you guys. We really had a good time. I love learning about history and I love being able to share different experiences and history with my son. So that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't get, forget to give a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Yes, sir. And if you haven't already, please go and check out the shorts channel, Just Constantino Shorts, so that you can, you can uh, see any of the shorts that I have posted or will post in the future. And also, if you wanna keep up with Cooper and I more, you can follow us on social media where we post more about our lives. And yeah, if, and you can find all of our social media links in the, the description below. We have TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram, and Facebook. So you can go check out those social media platforms if you'd like keep up with us a little more. And if you would like to support our content, please subscribe to my Patreon. It would mean so much to us and it would really help us out so that we can create better content for all of you. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or you want to see any other content, please leave it in the comment section below. And we hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Love Bye. you guys. Bye. Take care. Hey guys, I just wanted to make a correction. Columbus Day was Monday, October 9th. Nine pineapple production. Yeah. yeah.